Hi and welcome to today's two minute tips, which today is on how to install homebrew on OSX. Right, so first quickly, what is Homebrew? Well, it's a package manager for OSX that allows the install of Unix programs. It was first written in 2009 by Max Howell and is written in the Ruby programming language. Homebrew builds the software from source using formulae, downloading source files, then configuring and compiling the software. And so why is it called Homebrew? Well, because the author never knew how popular it would become and wanted to give it a beer theme so, sounds good to me. Right, so let's open Safari and go to brew.sh. And once here, we need to copy this line, then we can close Safari and open up Terminal. And just paste the line in here. And just press Enter to continue. And pop in your password. And you can see here that Homebrew is installing Xcode command line tools, which is now done automatically. So we just have to pop in our password and the install will then continue. So we just have to wait a few minutes, this bit of the video speeded up a bit, and then the install is complete. And if we want to just double check it's installed, we can type which brew, and we can see it's installed in the USR local bin. Right, so when installed, what can we do with this? Well, to get a list of what's available, we can type brew search, and then that gives us a list of all the packages we can install with Homebrew in alphabetical order. And for those of us who don't like lists, we can open a browser and go to browmeister.org and have a look there. And on this site, we can look at the formula and search them, etc. Anyway, I guess we'd better install something, so let's go back to terminal and let's install git. So to install a package, type brew space install, then a space and then the name of the package, and in this case git. And this will pull everything needed and install it on your Mac. And now to list what's installed, all we have to do is type brew space list. And here you'll see the various packages that are installed in brew, and here you can see the one that we just installed, the one here git. So that's it, easy, homebrew installed and working. Now if you have any Linux KVM virtual machines that you need to manage, then please check out my video on installing Vert Manager on OSX using Homebrew. Now hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did then please hit that like button, and hey, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Anyway, I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I'll catch you all next time.